So from uh, where France to uh, let me give my thoughts on the Arsenal Bournemouth game when we came back right now. So it's been a topsy turvy little week, I guess. No, this is just like an impact kind of wow. You're kind of shit sometimes, Daniel. You support Arsenal. Welcome back to reality, kind of reality check. Fucking boom. Yeah, but uh, so ended up 3 3. What a fucking game. Really impressed they came back, but holy shit, did they look shit in the first half. Gave away two early goals Daniels and uh, Wilson getting goals for Bournemouth. I was thinking that's it, game over. You know, and then it wasn't much better when, uh, oh, let me just look over here. Fraser, yeah, Fraser beat Berlin back down the line and tucked it between Czech's legs. Game over, fuck. No more. But we came back, Alexis Sanchez got a goal. I was thinking, alright, it's a consolation. I'm saying this to my friend, I was thinking, consolation. But Lucas Perez with a lovely, lovely finish. With it, like, just let it come across, tuck it on his left foot, strong's left foot, bang. Into the corner, thinking 3 2. If we do this, I'm gonna scream a little like a little girl, like I did when Jury scored the scorpion kick. And I watched it an over 50 times, thank you very much after my video last time. Thank you. But Giroud came up with the goods, 90th minute. They were down to 10 men. Francis the captain got sent off. Rough tackle on, on uh, Ramsey. Maybe it was a bit harsh, but you can't go in, so it's kicking. But fucking hell, Giroud is the man of the moment. Gets the header, gets the equaliser. What a guy. What a guy. I don't think he gets enough credit. This guy scored a scorpion kick. And he played well all game and scored the equaliser to get that. So, my thoughts is we played really shit and it's disappointing. But we came back, got three goals. It's two points dropped, but a point gained in a way. It's kind of weird. I think we're kind of gonna. We're gonna have to see how it goes. So, in the other results, got my little notepad here. We had Crystal Palace and Swansea. Crystal Palace lost to Swansea. Got a um, late equaliser from Zaha, but it wasn't enough. Rangel got a winner for Swansea. Big fight win, lifts him off the bottom. And Stoke beat Watford com uh, comfortably 2-0. Um, and other news, Mike Phelan, got on the picture here, in his younger days in United, has been sacked as whole manager, is only three months in charge. Currently, they're bottom of the league. You know, a bit surprised, I thought they were playing alright football lately as well, but obviously, you, you know the club has been going through some bad transition at the moment, players trying to get in, trying to, you know, there wasn't a lot going on, he's only been permanently their manager for three years, or three months, you know, yeah, three months, sorry, yeah, so he's out in the job and they're going to have to look for a new manager. So looking ahead, we've got a big game tomorrow, we've got Tottenham, Spurs, at the white line. <sighs> I don't know, I'm very itchy about this. I don't want uh, Chelsea to uh, beat Arsenal's record of undefeated streak, but I don't want Spurs winning either, so maybe a draw. I feel Tottenham, um, I think Tottenham, no, no, Tottenham will Spurs it up. Chelsea will win this, I think. It's going to be like, a, it's going to be a tight game, maybe 2-1. You really don't know these days. My prediction is pretty shit, I'm sorry about that, but I'll be back later on in the week. I'm going to do a team of the week, see my views about that, but, uh, Still really flabbergasted by this performance for Arsenal, but it's like, whew. Well, apart from that, have a good one, guys. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll see you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. I want to know what you guys think. If you love it, you hate it, comment it. So, till then, till next time, see you later. Bye bye.